everybody, this is Hunter Pass from Foreclosures Friday. We are here at, outside the office, and uh, I just wanted to bring to you today, we posted a little bit earlier about a guy named John Bolton. We've seen him before. I've interviewed John before. Here is John. And he's got a good friend or uh, well, colleague, thank you for the words. That's, you know, I'm using big words all the time. <laughs> colleague, his name is Mike from Seattle, Washington. What they're doing here today, what they've done, I mean, in the parking lot, there's trucks, cars, motorcycles, vehicles, people walking by, all the way around, all the way to the back. They're doing a class, or they're doing, they're, they're doing a class on, come on, that's good. They're doing a class on scoping sewer lines, underground sewer lines. Now, I was speaking with John earlier, and I was talking about, you know, I've seen on the commercials about the attorneys talking about sewer lines for homeowners and what they do if you have if you have some bad sewer lines you bought a house or you have a house there's probably a way to get some insurance claim and we'll see if John knows a little bit about that <laughs> are you up on that or you want to talk about that I've kind of put him on the spot because he's here I broke him out of his meeting there's a full class in there about 24 25 people or more looks like 30 or 40 but um, but John you know anything why why is this important to bring Mike from Seattle down here for the inspector to put on these training classes. What, what are you doing here? Why are you doing this? Well, I tell you, you cannot determine the condition of the pipes, the, the drain pipes underground without putting a camera down the pipe, period. Nobody can. It doesn't matter how smart you are. So we highly recommend if you're buying a property, get a sewer cam. Okay, we're going to be very, very competitive on price, uh, but you're going to know up front. If there is a problem, then somebody can address it because Typically, repairs on underground repairs is a thousands game. It's not a hundred game. It gets very expensive. And for just a few hundred bucks, you put a camera down there and find out the condition uh, of your lines and what type of lines you have is extremely beneficial. So, so what you're asking me now, or what I'm hearing, because it's kind of like an ask to me when I buy a house, I want to know what my sewer drains look like. I want to know what the pipe looks like. I want to know what's going on with the house I purchased. The John's inspected hundreds if not thousands of our properties in the past. I've known John for a long time when he first got into the inspector business. But I knew John was real when he started getting all these new gadgets and these infrared cameras. And now he's coming out with this. Now, again, he's, he's flown Mike in from Seattle. Mike, why are you here helping John? What 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 makes you the, the man that can come here and train us? Well, I, I suppose it's because I was um, assertive enough to want to learn about sewer scopes. And, Ten years ago when I first started scoping, I mean, I started home inspecting 23 years ago, but I only started scoping ten years ago. Prior to that, in my area, in the beautiful Pacific Northwest, oh, up in yeah. East Florida. Too damn cold. Uh, but, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, home inspectors weren't scoping. You wanted to scope, you had to go to a plumber, and it just was a rare case. Now in my area, because I started so long ago, there's more home inspectors scoping now. It's just part of the transaction. Realtors call, I want to order a home inspection and a sewer scope because it's part of the house system, major system that you can't see. Like replacing a full line could be more costly than a roof. And people always, whenever I'm on the roof, they go, hey, how's the roof up there? Why? Because it's a big ticket item. But then we don't want to know about a big ticket item that we can't see. If you buy a house and you have a sewer line problem that you didn't know about, you not only own the house, you own the problem. You want to know about the problem while you can still negotiate and still walk away. And we're not advocates of walking away. We want that deal to close. We want the agent to get paid. We want the buyer to buy and move in. We want the seller to move on. But we want to know information enough to make an educated decision. You know, I've bought lots of houses, 2,800 houses, and we have and all that, and flips. You know, sewer lines really haven't been that big an issue. But it might be because. sewer line pipe all laid out into the room. It's pretty damn cool, you know. And uh, I didn't get to see a lot of the training because, you, know, you know, I'm in our office and we're doing deals, but John's brought this to my attention now. And now I'm more thinking, I'm thinking, wow, this is a good way. You know, we do short sales. John's made us a ton of money on inspections. 
because once we get an approval from a lender, we call John in and say, hey babe, go inspect this property. As a matter of fact, we just closed on the property last week that got us down a little bit more, not a lot, because it was a house built, you know, and uh, so they rehabbed it in 2014. So they did a really good job, but it doesn't matter. Still, I know what's wrong with that house now, and I know what I need to do. I never thought about getting the sewer line or the septic system or whatever checked, because, you know, I just haven't been that type of person. But moving forward with the lawsuits and the, the sewer drains and the insurance companies and the things that you can do now because of bad sewer lines, and like they say, buying a house, I know, I know personally, the sewer lines are very costly. You're talking about busting up floors, you're talking about all kinds of new things. And so there's different things that you need to be careful of when you're buying real estate. And I haven't talked about this topic. And when, when John asked me, hey man, is your, is your office available or do you have a place that I can do a training? And I said, well, what is it on? And he said, well, I'm training on sewer, sewers. And I said, sewers? Like, what do you mean sewers? You know, I'm thinking sewers like the county sewer. You know, he goes, no, the sewer lines. We're doing sewer cam training. Where now you just brought something up, Mike. You somebody you used to have to call plumbers, and when you said that, it went bing. And I know plumbers are very, very, very expensive when they run a camera because we've done it, right? We've had to do it before. We had to do it with a plumber. So now we have John and the team doing sewer camps, and he said it wasn't that expensive. I don't know the number yet, but maybe it's the <laughs> square footage of the house, or but we're already out there. But we're already out there, the right? Right. So. That's just an added value for yourself. So if you want, if you want uh, certainty of your property, because of all this uncertainty that's going on in the world, but if you want to know if your drain lines are done right and if they're good, or if they're, because I do, I do have some of these done too. Because I just bought, I just bought some houses, and I know there's going to be some problems. At least I can see the problem now instead of guess at the problem. And I think that's very powerful. These cameras, the tools that these guys get. I'm telling you, John, I walk in there. He's got more cameras and stuff laying around going, dang, man, this guy's got a freaking production going on here. So that what that tells me is John and his team, they, they are on target. They're on top of the edge with the cutting edge of what's going on in the real estate industry, what's going on in the, the ability to save thousands of dollars when you're buying, right, and, and to protect yourself with this could be a disaster on a purchase, you know. Uh, the way the market's moving, the way things are going, and, and all the new buildings that are going on. And I mean, have you ever found uh, in, in the sewer? How long have you been doing the sewer camp now? Two, two and a half years. Uh, what's your, what, what, what is the, is there any newer construction that you found problems with the sewer? So if you're if you're if you're an investor out there and you're hiring all these contractors, you're hiring the painter, the tile guy, the drywall guy. I can guarantee you, if they're not very professional, if you're not hiring professional people, they're going to take the shortcuts and they're going to dump that stuff down the freaking the, the tub, the sink, wherever the quick. Because people are want to be quick and quick out, dump it down. I see it all the time. Debbie sees it all the time. So my painter, you're watching this. If I see any more paint or any more crap on my freaking toilet, you're out of here. That's the way it's going to be in 2021. So we're not going to take any of that. We want we want our projects to be right, and it, and it also gives you your understanding when you're selling a home. You know your sewer lines are right. So for a couple hundred bucks, whatever it may be, because I, I I used to bitch at John about, dang man, that's a little that's pretty expensive for this home inspection, you know, in the beginning. But once I saw the value of what John and they do this, you know, when this inspectigator comes out and inspects your home, and they got drones, they got everything. I mean, they, they do it all, I'm telling you. It's impressive. Uh, I've seen John climb up a, 
uh, I found I found that salad work uh, video with us uh, in that. Uh, uh, I'm going to get it to John. I've kept promising him to look it up, but I found it. The way it was, it was an inspection John did for me on a 15,000 square foot house that. Uh, Mushrooms were Oh, growing. man, it was amazing. It was just an incredible video we did together. It was <laughs> raining inside the house. Yeah. <laughs> it was I put I that on your desk. John shot me with an umbrella that. in the house that we, we, I had a deed to. Uh, but anyway, you know, if you, if you need some work, you're local here in Florida, in Seattle. You can look up Mike, but John here in Central Florida, and he's got a room full of inspectors in there. So, John, why, I'm putting you on the spot, why are you training your competition? You know, it only elevates the industry, and it also legitimizes what we do. You know, a lot of people think this is, you know, black magic, uh, trying to, just trying to upsell me. This is a huge benefit. And I think whether you're buying or you're just a homeowner, everybody should get a sewer can. Uh, we were talking earlier, Mike, tell, what was the funniest thing you've ever found in the sewer line? Um, oh, a bow and arrow. It's a bow and arrow. My kid's, my kid's bow. Yeah. So he opened the cap and the riser and he, I don't know what he was doing, but he put his, his bow down there and he thought it was a stick until we saw the handle over in the bow. The recurve bow. So no animal. Oh, so I have seen mice around. Uh, yeah. yeah. So anyway, you know, they just scoped my building. Thank God, we're clean, we're fresh. And, uh, you know, we're, we're, we're working order. So if you need any inspections, Inspectigator, John Bolton, Inspectigator team, I'm telling you, you know I don't promote anybody that I don't use, that I don't believe and I don't trust. So I know John personally and his wife, Bobby, very personal. And, and it's been a blessing to work with John Bolton and the Inspectigator because, you know what, I can sleep at night knowing the inspection that took place on a property that I did from John that I bought is going to be done right. And, and it's going to, you might not like it, but it's going to be done right. And what I mean by that is he shows me stuff that, you know, uh, and, and he shows me stuff that we need to know so we can negotiate with banks or whatever, but it also shows us what we need to do and how much money we need to spend or may not spend or might not want to even do the deal. You know, I used to think inspectors were deal killers, right? And I hated them. And then I met John, and he explained to me, Hunter, I'm not a deal killer. I'm, a, I'm telling you. Uh, 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 so, But I, I always get John to inspect my properties because what he's doing, he's letting me know and letting me, my office staff, or my partners, because we're doing this all over the place, that we're, we're going to be taken care of on the inspections, and we're not going to have any surprises. Pam says she's working on a deal right now, a short sale, and that's literally what is happening. Yeah. It, some, so Pam, somebody's you know, Pam. Pam's got COVID, so she's on. So somebody scoped it and they found something. Uh, yeah. Well, there you go. If you come to Tacoma or Seattle, the Sterling Inspection Group. There you go. We'll take care of it. Mike at Sterling Inspection in Seattle, Washington, Tacoma. Tacoma, Seattle. Is that where your sister is? No, she was on the island uh, outside of Seattle. Yeah. Anyway, foreclosure Friday, Hunter Pass. Going here. in the room. We're going to show you. Just we're going to do a little sneak inside. We're not going to go talk because. There's still training going on, right? Is, yeah. So we're going to sneak in there just for you to see. Come on inside. See that? That's what I'm talking about. That's pretty impressive. Now, I'm keeping my voice down because they are still in full training. People that have stayed here and come here, they are very excited about what's going on here and what they can do in their new business, right? Because that's what you're doing, trying to help the people and most, grow their business. Most of the guys that have been engaged in this as a business, there's several guys that wouldn't have for us. Uh, but there's several guys that are doing it now, and they're coming to find out the, uh, the limitations of these systems, what they can and they can't do. Say, how to say Learn it. the system and the process. We had a guy who flew here from Los Angeles just to do a disc class. That's awesome. Wow. 
That's all. So when you ask them for an, ins for, for an inspection on your house, do you have to ask for that extra or is it automatically? If Amanda doesn't ask you, please ask. <laughs> so, so Debbie's question for John was, is the inspection of the cam on every inspection? No, it's, it's like a, so he's card. got different levels of inspections. So he's got okay. a master inspection right, okay. that I use. And then he's got, because I'm looking for the four most components of the roof, plumbing, electrical, HVAC, plumbing. Did you hear me say plumbing? So the plumbing is sewer line, right? That's part of plumbing, right? There's incoming plumbing, there's outgoing plumbing. So, so you check your incoming plumbing, right? Why should you check your outgoing plumbing? Because you want to make sure it works. So John and them, go ahead. I have good news for you. Awesome. While we were here, we went outside when Michael scoped your building. All right. Diversified Realty, uh, right out here, all the way down to the street, and you are clear. Clear. Thank God. Thank God. So, so the, so the, so the, the, so the, the, the realtor team here at Diversified Realty and HP Investment want to thank John for all the service mm -hmm. for the last 15, 20 years, probably, I think it was 20 years, I mean, 1996 is where we met somewhere around there, boy, at, at CFRI, and CFRI is where John's a staple component there, or he's an idol there, I think, <laughs> but uh, I just want to let you know that uh, we enjoyed your show today. I uh, hope you enjoyed our show today. One second. Also, John, what's the other thing that you're doing for this COVID? Oh, the COVID spray. Yeah. The duster. We're, we also uh, do sanitization. So we are licensed mold assessors, licensed and mold remediators, uh, certified biocide applicators, and something else I forget. That's why we're not wearing masks. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we will professionally sanitize the room we use, the bathroom, this area, the door we leave, so it will be clear, clean. That makes Thank Debbie you. very happy. Hunter Paschal, foreclosure Friday. I'm your man, and get your cam done. Talk to you soon.